So I've been asked about this quite frequently during the last few weeks. So I thought I'd just make a video to answer all of my questions and give you guys my recommendations. And that is vitamin C serums for people with sensitive skin or people that are newbies to vitamin C. So generally skin can be pretty sensitive to azorbic acid. Uh, so typically if you have sensitive skin or are new to it, you're better off starting with a lower percentage of vitamin C. Generally 10% or less should not irritate skin. Uh, so I've, all these recommendations are 10% or less azorbic acid. Um, vitamin C, azorbic acid typically functions best at a lower pH, which is why a lot of people who have sensitive skin can be irritated to it. Um, so I prefer to recommend something that's a lower percentage azorbic acid and recommend you go with that. Um, if you have sensitive skin, you can also go with a derivative to start out with, uh, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. It's a derivative known for its brightening ingredients and functions well at a neutral pH, making it much less sensitizing. Sodium ascorbyl phosphate is another one. It's best known as the anti-acne vitamin C derivative. Also has a skin-friendly pH. And then tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. It's the oil-soluble derivative. Uh, also thought to penetrate deeper than all the other derivatives. And it also works okay at a more skin-friendly pH of like five or higher. So those derivatives are a great way to start with vitamin C and get your skin kind of accustomed to some of the vitamin C. But generally, if you can go with the azorbic acid, it is the most proven, most researched antioxidant that's out there. So I'd recommend with that, going with that if you can. Starting with the derivative is just fine, but if you can work your way up to something with azorbic acid, I think in the long run, you're gonna be better. Those derivatives just need more research and proof for me to be convinced that they are as good or better than regular azorbic acid. Okay, so starting out, I've got several 10%, 5%. So the one with 10%, uh, the Vici Peptide C Anti-Aging Lift Active Ampule. They come in little ampules, which I believe I've used to finish them all, sadly. But this one's great. It's 10% vitamin C. It also has uh, vitamin E, ferulic acid. It is fragrance free. The nice thing is the packaging in these little ampules are airtight, so you don't have to worry about them going bad as quickly. However, once you open the ampule, you wanna finish it up as fast as possible, but it's a nice way to get your skin acclimated to vitamin C. Uh, a newer one that just came out recently is the Timeless 10% Vitamin C and Ferulic Serum. 10% version, they also have their 20%, which they've had out for a long time. It's become a HG product for so many people. So it's about time they came out with the 10% version. Uh, this one also contains vitamin E, ferulic acid is fragrance free. Love the airtight packaging of it. Uh, my skin is absolutely loving it. And it came out, comes out crystal clear, so it's brand new. They just, Timeless makes it frequently. You have to go with a brand that manufactures it often. If they don't manufacture it often, you get it by the time you get it, it's on its way to being oxidized and not as good as it, not as good and fresh as it could be and not as effective. Next up, we've got the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% and Arbutin 2%. This is a product with only three ingredients in it. Keep that in mind, the main ingredient is propanolol, which is kind of an iffy ingredient for some people. It tends to be on the hydrating side and it takes a while to absorb. Uh, it's fragrance free, pretty friendly for sensitive skin, a nice way to start your skin getting to adjusted to azorbic acid and pretty well packaged, I guess. Number four I don't have with me is the Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster with Vitamin C. It comes in the little container with a little foil thing so you can mix it fresh when you want it. Uh, it's got like two compartments in it. That one's got 10% vitamin C. It's got peptides, airtight packaging, uh, and fragrance-free. And I love it. it. That was one of the also one of the very first vitamin C azorbic acid products I used because the 10% seemed to work well for my sensitive skin. Okay, next up we've got, let's see, number numero five. That is the Good Skin Days Seize the Day Serum. This one is also 10%. 10% azorbic acid also has a nice variety of skin brightening ingredients. So if you have skin that's dull, have hyperpigmentation, things like that, uh, this one's definitely worth checking out. Fragrance free and pretty affordable as well. Although I will say once you open it, plan on finishing it as fast as you can because this one 
has a tendency to go a little bit quicker than some of the other ones. Okay, next up we've got the Isn't Tree C. Niacin Toning Ampule. Uh, this one's really great. If you have very, very sensitive skin, this one is a really nice essence. You can add it into your routine really easily. Uh, I like using this at night, kind of before. Sometimes I put on the rest of my skincare products. On this one, we've got sea buckthorn, which is an ingredient rich in vitamin C. It's also got several brightening ingredients, niacinamide, uh, has no scent, and it's also pretty affordable, and a little bottle will last you quite some time. Okay, next up, we've got another one that is new, which is the Purito Pure Vitamin C Serum. This one seems to be hit or miss for some people. This one has 5% alzorbic acid, niacinamide is in there, bamboo water, it's fragrance free. It's in a large bottle, which is two ounces, which is double the size of most. So keep that in mind. Makes it a little bit of a better deal. This is another one where if you start using it, you want to finish it as fast as possible because it does have a tendency to oxidize a little bit quicker. Uh, I noticed mine was oxidizing a little bit faster, although that doesn't seem to be an issue with for everyone. So I think maybe shipping has something to do with it. But it is still a good one that's worth checking out and trying because it's got a nice low percentage of vitamin C, 5%. Okay, got two more left. This one is a cream. This one is a L'Oreal Revitalift Derm Intensives Vitamin C Serum. This one is unique because it is a cream texture, uh, which is great because if it's in a cream formula, you don't have to worry about uh, it's going bad as quickly because you don't have the water. It's not exposed to air or light. This one is also 10% L-azorbic acid. This one, in my opinion, is probably geared towards those with drier skin, non-acne prone skin, sensitive skin types. It is fragrance free. Personally, I like the serum texture a little bit better for vitamin C products, but a cream texture can be a great way to start out with it. And you don't have to worry about using it up quickly because it's a bit much more stable in the cream formula. And then last but not least, we've got the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. This one is 5% alzorbic acid. It contains fragrance. Although the interesting thing is, I seem to hear from a lot of people with sensitive skin that this one works just fine for them. So I'm wondering, maybe it's just the lesser percentage of alzorbic acid and the fragrance isn't as much of an issue. Personally, I would go with the Purito over this one just because there's no fragrance in it. But this one seems to be a winner for a lot of people with sensitive skin and people that are newer to l acid. So I think it would be wrong of me to not include it just because I don't like one ingredient. The fragrance isn't terrible. It's not super strong. But it's still something worth considering if you're new to l acid and looking for something with a lower percentage. So um, these are my picks. But I'm interested if you guys have any good vitamin C l acid products for sensitive skin. Uh, typically 10% or less is the way to go. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys what your thoughts are, recommendations are, things that are worth checking out. Um, really loving the new Timeless one too. So I had to mention that multiple times. So anyway, I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much.